So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down. Brock going to throw right side here. Complete. Brock's pass. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving that. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. First down. Operating from the gun. Brock. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with a kind of touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle. Touchdown, San Francisco. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Kendrick Bourne is a level. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And this will be caught at the 30. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. George Kittle, as the first half is winding down, and the 49ers continue to roll. Third quarter action to this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. Off the play fake. Brock sliding out of the pocket. Open man is born. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That's good for 28 yards. And these numbers on our monitor are getting hard to believe. He's closing in now right on the doorstep of 500 yards passing. I'm glad that you watched the monitor and said it first because I had trouble. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, Brock, and he's got it, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash, dropped at the one. Great gains back to back, last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Operating from the gun, Brock. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll try to run this one in. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. San Francisco. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. 
Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Marcus Davenport make that now eight sacks for him on the season. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offense. Now he's into the clear. Touchdown, 49ers. Raheem Mostert. San Francisco. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Brock. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up with a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and back to throw. Brock taking a shot for Samuel. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds, right down around the goal line. First and goal. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert with his 28th touchdown, drawing level with Sean Alexander for the second most in a single year. And the 49ers, they're just pouring it on. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 26. A big play there for the Niners. 49 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Still on his feet. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? And yeah, they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, that makes it this way. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. The first down and a little extra. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And... The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. 
they will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to... The great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for New Orleans... Today, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's week 12 of the NFL on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as... 
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. Space to maneuver at the 40. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. I got my car rolled out for you. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you can tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. Pulled it in. Let you do the analysis partner but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had I just continue to be more and more impressed let's both do the analysis Impre so this offense will head back out there already an excellent field position thanks to the interception back to throw now on first down and it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. San Francisco. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. On first and ten, Brock. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. score and his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. the handoff this is Moster and he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down they needed some breathing room he gave it to him 11 yards and a first down most of their damage has been done through the air I mean they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns but guess what ground game has not been neglected nice little burst right there a good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. From the gun, Brock. Open man is Pettis, it's complete. And he is gonna have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, 49ers. <laughs> 21 nothing. our score after one. Niners, 21, Rams, nothing. Throwing on first down. Brock, wide open, receiver complete. And he is into the end zone, and the touchdown record is now all his. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Brock flushed out right. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he 
takes is beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Operating from the gun. Brock lines up and lets it go for Samuel. This is caught inside the 15. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And this is more of the same right here. These guys have definitely been the aggressors here in the first half. They pushed the envelope in terms of play calls, and that's reflected in the score. And now they're in a position to widen this lead. And that one covering an even 63 yards in the air. A gain of six there on first. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes, and they're going that fast. Any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. On first and 10, Brock escaping, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Floyd in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Eluding the pressure right. Got the connection here to Bourne. A big seam, and he might go Touchdown, 49ers! Kendrick Bourne on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And this offense continues to... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Throwing on first down. Brock flushed to his right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Leonard Floyd, he's the one to get him. And that is sack number seven for him on the year. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Flushed out right. And he'll let this go. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one goes for 36 yards. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. On first down, Brock. And he'll let this go deep for both. It's caught at the 10. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. San Francisco. After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. To throw from his end zone, Brock. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. It leads to Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be. And got his man complete. The 40, past the 20, and they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Illegal forward pass, offense. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. 
They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Looking to throw. Brock, that one caught by Ross Dwelling. And all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And they move this all the way down to the 9. 36 yards on the play. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. There defensively was John Johnson to knock it free. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a six-yard loss on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. 